doing. Feeny Diamond in the Rough. Hope um, you're doing well. Uh, I didn't record yesterday. Um, yeah. So what I thought before I actually sat down with the drills, I thought I'd just give you a quick look at the pink and greys. Uh, 45 by 60. And if I pull that up, I'm nearly done. I'm doing that little bit by little bit. Okay. And because I'm at work, it's like, well, I'm not at work at the moment, but because it's during my work period, I'll um, only work on small sections at a time anyway. So I will uh, rearrange these cameras and then we'll sit and have a chat. So what have you guys been doing? Me, obviously, I've been at work and let's get my first colour and then I'll really start chatting because, yeah, today, today and yesterday were interesting days. I um, a bit tired yesterday and then you follow a bit tired with one of Nathan's loudest mates who, who doesn't know the difference between talking and shouting. And that's coming from someone that's loud. I am loud. Uh, okay, hang on. So, uh, oops. Get that better angle. There we go. You might see a bit more now. Whoops. <laughs> There's my mouse. There we go. Um, so, even with doors shut, uh, his voice travelled right throughout the house. Uh, yeah, and I do mine right throughout the house. I ended up having a shower and going to bed and his voice travelled into the... I could hear him from the shower. <laughs> so, yeah. there was no point doing any recordings because I know he's loud. And uh, first day back and I was I was knackered. I was tired. So, yeah. Um... So today, yesterday and today, so today's Saturday, the night. Um, so I've done two days just so far, I've got one more to go. Um, and it's really funny because, it, well, it's funny but not funny. I, you know, on the second morning of waking up on day shift, it's like, oh, that's the last time I have to get out of bed in the morning for a week. And always on Saturday morning, I wake up going, oh, it's, that's too... And then I'm disappointed when it's like, no, I've got to get out of bed tomorrow morning too. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's not, I mean, that's, in winter it's harder and it's and it's starting to get cool now. Finally starting to get cool. Uh, but, meh, can't be too fussy on what happens around here with the uh, weather. Um, it's, it's only two or three days in a row, like, you know, at this moment, it's only three mornings in a row that I have to get out of bed. Not five, as if I was doing a Monday to Friday job. Um, okay, so, roster front side of things. I think I turned around and said to you guys about a roster, which was a four days, four nights, four off. Uh, Twelve and a half hour days. Well, it's not happening. yee <laughs> Um multiple reasons uh, one of the big reasons is because the WA has actually started lifting restrictions they're starting to um, the cases in WA are I, I think it's 14 at the moment I'm not sure so 14 cases all up in WA so of those that have caught it and recovered and, or, and sadly passed away there's only 14 people in WA that have the uh, COVID-19 so um, the likelihood of having to have one crew go down and then only having the three crews and then having to go to that roster are significantly reduced um, the flip side of that there was a lot of people put in some interesting complaints which weren't shared but we know what the complaints were with the people just within our te own teams uh, <clears throat> we'll say uh, <laughs> they gave out sheets our um, boss a couple of levels out gave out sheets you know frequently asked question sheet and um, he was my boss a few years ago um, 
in a different role. But uh, he turned around and said, do you want the frequently asked sheep? And then I went, well, now that it's not going to happen, I'm not going to get my three months off, so there's no need for me to worry about it. <laughs> he looked at me and goes, yeah, okay. Uh, because uh, he was told that I can't do the roster, so it was I was going to have to go on leave for three months. A bit disappointed, three months leave. Mind, I'm supposed to be taking leave later on anyway. But yeah, so that's not happening. So on that good front, that was really good news. Um, yeah. So work is work. Um, how are we going here craft-wise? Still waiting for my Sophie and Toffee boxes. Mind, you got Friday, Saturday. So no, no mail Friday. So it didn't arrive Saturday. Won't be here tomorrow. So just keep on, keep on looking at it. Uh, keep an eye on for when it comes and that's all I can do. I received, so I ordered from Pretty Neat Creative and I've received an email and I've also ordered from Treasure Art Studio. So there's a couple of things on order. I got uh, an email from Rachel from Treasure Art Studios uh, saying, so what I ordered was, I ordered a diamond painting, but I also ordered a big drill tray. My last one, my last big tray I broke. I did make a mould of that, uh, but I'm not happy with the mould because I'm not happy with what came out, the, what was produced out of them. So what I need is another big drill tray and then so I can make another mould. Um, yeah. So, yeah, she, anyway, she sent me an email to say that uh, she's out of stock with the um, the big white trays. So I'll get two orders. I'll get two deliveries. So one will be the diamond painting and a separate one will be for the uh, large drill trays that I've ordered from her, uh, which is really nice of her. So actually, you know, instead of holding both and just combining the um, shipping into one, she's actually has turned around and um, you know probably at her her own cost to actually do extra extra shipping so so yeah we're waiting on that one um, new of those from Treasure Art Studios have been shipped I do have a notification for the pretty neat creative so that'll be interesting to see how long that takes uh, yeah, hanging to see that. Uh, my stash, my, my stash, not stash, because I don't really have one, is getting low. So you see this one's nearly nearly done. Um, and that's funny, I've always been in a situation where it doesn't matter how close I get, because if I really need one, I could go to gem it and pick up a diamond painting or a die moon shop and get organized one that they've already got in stock if I really wanted to um, really wanted a diamond painting uh, however at the moment gem it's short shop front this their shop itself the physical shop is shut so I can't go for a drive and pick something up they did have a store here um, yeah, I'll do the right one. They did have a, a store here, uh, very near to me, and I mean near as in it was in between here and where I work night shift. Um, but that, yeah, but that's not there anymore. So I can't just go and walk in and pick up a diamond painting. I suppose if I wanted to, if I wanted to, I could go for a diamond dots. Uh, from Spotlight, which is actually where I got my first diamond painting from. Um, what else? Yeah, the other one was Die Moon Shop, but at the moment, due to the uh, rate of the Aussie dollar, and there can't be a guarantee, I don't believe there'll be a guarantee on shipment time. Um, I won't order from them at the moment. And I will say at the moment because there is one that I have to order. I just 
just have an organised myself to do it and uh, I'll get done. I, I'm I thinking I might do it um, in the next week. I'll keep in contact with Reggie and go from there. Hmm. Otherwise, it's pretty quiet, pretty quiet. I do have... Um, <laughs> I feel I, uh, I've got some bow footage for you. <laughs> um, was done the I filmed it the day before I went back to work, so this is filmed on Thursday. Uh, what can I say? I was on the couch eating rice cakes, so they're just round things. Only about you know, about that round. Basically, you you top them with food to actually give them any flavour. If you don't, that's like eating cardboard with a little bit of flavour. But I tend to, when I'm on the couch, I'll snack on those just on themselves. And Bo will get in my face and request to have some. So I did share and I filmed sharing. Um, so hopefully you you like um, seeing him share. Uh, I will say that we have, when you watch this, you will see that he dribbles, he draws. Um, we have on our, on our, uh, well, let's say put it on our couches, we have uh, blankets that he's on, uh, being so that the couches are protected. Even on our bed, I actually do have a, a blanket on the foot of the bed, uh, which is what he sleeps on. <laughs> yeah, not spoiled much. Um, but yeah, you will see how much he he draws, and uh, it's yeah. So the video, the footage will uh, speak for itself. What's going on, buddy? Am I eating? Am I eating? What am I eating? Do you want some of this? Do you want some of this? Ah, uh, ah, uh. ah, uh. ah, uh. ah. Uh. Can you taste it? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Good boy. Come on. It's cardboard, buddy. It's cardboard. You're drooling, and it's only rice cakes. Boys, up, 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 up. Oi. You don't need. Gentle, gentle. <laughs> These are rice cakes. They are boring. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, high five. Other one. Oi, you just broke it. You broke it. Hey, oh. Here. Good boy. Go on. 
You slobber dog. And you, you slobber. Up close and personal, are you? Beautiful boy, aren't you? <laughs> ah, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. He even he he will eat anything if if we're eating it or he'll want to eat it. So we can go to. I know there's a lot of dogs won't eat a lot of the green stuff like lettuce and and things like that. He will eat lettuce if we're eating it. He will eat it. Uh, I've got to be very careful with him because he will eat absolutely anything. Very rare for him to turn down something. Unless, of course, it's dog food. And then he turns that down. You guys got any dogs, cats or dogs that get go through fussy stages? Or are just straight out fussy? Um, we're going through a stage with Bo at the moment where He's gone. He's on Tim food. He gets biscuits, but he's on Tim food, and um, yep, suddenly he stops eating it. So we have to change brands, and then he'll get sick of that. So he stops eating it. Uh, so he's a hard one, hard one to place. Anyway, I've got some comments to uh, go back on. Not many actually, which is uh, pretty cool. But yeah. Um, <laughs> I will say Anna, yeah, great chat. Bo sure is loud. <laughs> yeah, he is. You said before that all three of you snort. Be funny to hear that. Uh, no, that's not something going to happen. Um, and I think because Nathan was only breathing heavy, if Nathan Nathan had actually been snoring, I wouldn't have put it up at all. Um, but because it was only just heavy breathing. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's why it came up because I, you, the only snoring you could actually hear was of bone. Um, but yeah, yeah, not not recording through the night. That that would be you. No, because <laughs> uh, I talk in my sleep. I giggle in my sleep. You ever heard of anyone giggling in their sleep? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I've seen lots of variations of that. Let's me, let's be friends on many videos lately. Um, yeah, that I think that might be trying them trying to get subscribers. Um, that's as far as I can tell. I don't know if anybody else is thinking the same thing. No, it's almost like the sub for sub. You know, which you just don't do. You don't sub to somebody just because they've subbed to you. You sub to somebody because you actually like watching their videos. Um, yeah. Um, um, so he see so from Grace. Um, yeah, she like talking about the fact that I use the word natter. Um, uh, natter is used in the UK and it loves a good chin wag. Yep, and I love a good chin wag too. So yes. Yeah, it's it's not just Australian, but I don't know whether the thing is you don't know whether um, some slang sayings are used by uh, other people in other countries. So yeah, um, yeah, and survive through this string. Now, Mindy, <laughs> I'm not quite sure when I said those words. <laughs> so apparently, in that number sixteen whipping chat. I said an inappropriate word and I apologise. <laughs> well, kind of apologise. I do try and watch my language. <laughs> but obviously something happened and that one slipped out. So I'm going to have to go and actually sit and uh, listen to my own little short whip and chat and find a bit. Um, yeah, who knows? Maybe I can edit and put a bip on it. Maybe not. Shows we're human. Shows we're human. Um, so yeah, and Gail. <laughs> Gail's gone. I've never heard a dog snore quite like that. Too funny. Yeah. Um, he. I should. I'll try and get some sounds of him because he he is he is a character. He is an absolute character. So I'll try and get somewhere. He's just making 
what they call Sharpe happy noises. So Sharpe happy noises are you know, the two he's too lazy to well he does, he wags his tail. But um he makes um happy sounds and happy gurgling sounds and it, it's absolutely adorable to actually hear. Um I used to wonder about the sound but then I actually um was watching quite a while ago about um, some videos on sharp haze and the comments in there and it's like well that's that's actually their happy sounds they're content they're happy instead of um, just a simple wagging of the tail it's them fully showing their emotion you know how happy they are because yeah um, happy and content and know that they're in a good place um, so yeah I'll if I ever get the opportunity to film him and when he's doing that it's pretty hard to because normally when he, he's getting happy noises um, is because um, simply put both my hands are on him and I'm patting him and rubbing his ears and doing all of that so I can't have a camera I can't hold a camera while I'm doing that so uh, yeah it's just a little, little work out how to do that um, anyway um, at any at later stage just so you can hear him. Um, now today, Saturday, I took a work in the city and I did do a recording. Uh, I will have to do it with a voiceover. I'm not putting it on this video. Have to do it with a voiceover. It wasn't recorded on my phone. It was recorded on my glasses. So ages ago I mentioned the fact that I have sunglasses that can record uh, the biggest thing with using them is you can't the stopping and starting of the recording is pretty awkward but um, and and when you walk you know how you walk your head turning you're always looking around so trying to keep your head reasonably still is pretty hard but I have I'll show you these so these are sunnies if you see in the light you see that little hole let's see there that's actually the uh, camera and on the inside there's actually a button in here for recording and the um, SD card actually fits in there so that's um, I'll start using those and going for walks and taking around now these glasses do come out so the lens it is designed to come out so that then you can walk around without having sunglasses on so if it's night time you can actually record um, with those on so long as nobody's looking too closely and realizing that they've just got sunnies on that don't have lenses uh, and hang on there we go uh, back in um but yeah i've got a date and time set on those but it's just not that i don't know how to update a date and time i've lost the instructions but uh, I'll show you uh, my little bit of a short walk that I had in the city today. So you just have a look at what Perth is like. Even oh, for a set, well, it was it was very quiet in in the city, and it always well Saturday. It's not always quiet, but at this stage of what the world's going through at the moment, it is really quiet. Um, yeah it'd be nice for, nice for you to have a have a look and i'll show that to you uh probably in another live uh, not another live in another video because uh i've got to edit out some bits where i uh like i turned them on while i was inside the, my work building uh i can actually show you part of my work building but uh, I was within the security doors, so it's footage that I can't show. So I've got to edit out bits. But yeah, well, that's about it. Um, I think I will leave that there. There's not much more to tell. Hopefully, you guys are, are doing well. Um, you know, when uh, I will say when things lift and things get better, I will actually 
listen these uh, recordings and uh, hopefully I'll start getting stuff I can do and show you besides just talking um, yeah when you got stuff on order and you're just waiting for it oh yeah it, it's frustrating it is frustrating especially when you've got stuff that's back from February <laughs> So guys, drop your comments below. Let me know, did you like Bo? How would you go if you had a dog that drooled like he does? Um, yeah. And I am quite firm with him on a couple of things, because a couple of times with food, because food is the big one that we've taught him. Um, yeah, he's not allowed to snatch. He gets in trouble for snatching. So yeah. So guys, I will say thank you for uh, joining me for another quick little catch up and chat. Uh, let me know what you're doing, how your day is, and um, hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, give me a thumbs up, jeez I'm out of whack with the camera again, and a thumb, or a thumb down, take your pick, um, and I will talk to you later, bye for now.